So there used to be a cable that would start there and the ore would get loaded into buckets and then sent all the way down to Keeler up and over all the ridges and everything. Oh, you really look like we just dug you out of like an oh ice chamber. Look at his face! <laughs> Wait, so this goes in a way? That Correct. is yeah. awesome. Oh my, oh god. my god. Okay, guys. <laughs> Elton, seriously, that's no, 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 guys. Everyone knows how f***ing dangerous this place is. Elton, it is snowing. You don't have snow tires, oh and there is a cliff up here. Where? Elton. Where? Elton, no, slow down, slow down, slow down. Dude, you're literally going like 60 <laughs> on a f***ing seven mile per hour road, bro. Okay, oh this is actually God. where it starts getting sketchy. Oh, that's a jump, Elton. That's a jump. <laughs> <laughs> that was a jump. You're you're pissing the wrong way. Matt, we're over here! Dude, we couldn't see anything! You couldn't see anything? That was so lame! Oh, bro, hold on, I'll get wait, it. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, I'll get wait, it. Wait, wait. Hold on. Okay, wait, this is <laughs> cold! I don't think we've ever got this It's a little cold, far. isn't it? Okay. Oh, okay, geez. this is... You know if your brakes work in the snow? Brent would not approve. What am I now? Nope. Oh. No, they don't work. Oh, <laughs> good. oh my god. Thank god there was traffic on the Elton! Oh. No, 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 no. Look, look, look. What? Yes. Be careful. Do you think I'm driving with my eyes closed? Because I can. No, Elton. <laughs> you you do do oh, oh, I saw you. <laughs> <laughs> as soon as he opened his eyes, he was like, oh, <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> All right, guys. Update. The car is kind of stuck. So we're going to put some chains we on we it. We came prepared. Yeah. Where'd you get that chain? Hot bro, topic? Bro, sorry. Hold on. Wait, wait. Actually, check this out. Oh, this bro, is actually bro, so <laughs> Dude, no way. No way! You see this outfit, what he's wearing? <laughs> Who'd y'all check in with? I was like, where did you get that? Oh, I got it, I got it. <laughs> Who told you to come up here? Dude, I'm sorry, I'll leave. Yo, it's Brent! Look, 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 look. Oh my Are god! Oh my god! Look at how close the edge, dude! Oh <laughs> it's the my edge. god. Guys, the guys, yeah, you don't understand. There's a huge oh. drop right there. Ah. <laughs> Look at this smile. <laughs> you made it. <laughs> Crazy oh, person. Shout out for us now. Hey! hey. Shout out to Brent. <laughs> this is awesome. This looks like an amusement park. Wow. Dude, we have this whole place for ourselves. What's up, everyone? And welcome back to the TFIL 25 weeks of overnight adventures, haunted, abandoned places, ghost towns thing that we've been doing. Uh, we have a new a new guy joining us here. This is uh, Matt Rife, everyone. Um, so that's Matt. What are you guys doing right now? What? Teamwork. Um, for his love glove on. The love glove on. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, if you guys haven't noticed, <laughs> we're at Cerro Gordo. Corey's back at Cerro Gordo. Woo! I miss this place. But bro. you were not. You were here. In Spring slash yeah. summer, right? Yeah. I have not witnessed Sarah Gordo in the snow. Yeah, that, like it <laughs> looks completely. This different. is wild. <laughs> this is wild. That man. drive was up. So, guys, oh, yeah. <laughs> well, let me tell you real quick. So, you know, the first time we came to Sarah Gordo, the the main thing I remembered was how sketchy the road was coming up, and then coming today, Elton's like, oh. No, it's not snowing there. It's not snowing at Cerro Gordo. We're halfway up and we start sliding. Not normal. But yeah, if anyone doesn't know about Cerro Gordo, this place is incredible. Shut down 1935, uh, home to around 4,000 people. It's a mining town. It's so historic. I'm not really gonna give you much information because Brent's here, the guy who actually owns the place, oh, yes. is here. So I'm just gonna let him educate you guys. You know a decent amount about this place. Yeah, I, I got sucked into his YouTube channel and watched a bunch of them. So like, I can pretty much give you a tour of the whole place here. Yeah. <laughs> so Brent. <laughs> well, Y'all don't go by Brent now, yeah. Right. Well, follow me this way. All right, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, we're gonna be here for at least 24 hours, like all the way until wow. sunset tomorrow. Uh, a lot to see, a lot to explore, a lot of mines that are here that we're gonna be going in and yep. even the building that we're staying in has a history of being haunted yes so it we is got haunted. like a, wow. we got a trifecta you know, it didn't feel haunted. yeah that's rare no it's right? haunted we might do some sledding and snowboarding i like we that. Had some off-roading <laughs> okay some talking to demons right. how often are you in a place you can do all of those things i don't know, like, you know? Oh, wait, are we sleeping <laughs> we're sleeping in the haunted place yeah. yeah i mean it's better out here oh 
You can sleep in the truck. Uh, uh, in dude, truck. It's kind of warm in there, I will say. <laughs> I don't know. Teslas are getting nuts. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> Damn. All right, well, let's meet up with Brett. Yeah, let's yeah, do let's, it. This is going to be a fun one. Let's do it. Let's go. Ah. Come on. Damn. Ah. Oh, well, this is why we invited Brett. Tatum, 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 Tatum. What are you guys Tatum. saying? We're chanting Tatum. Yeah. Come on, Evan. Evan, come on. Tatum, Tatum, Tatum. 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 Thank you, Made bro. It. How's it nice going? Nice to meet you. Nice, nice to meet you. you. Brent. Elton. Elton. Nice to meet you. Brandon. Nice Brandon. Brandon. And nice to meet you, man. Corbin. Corbin. Matt. Welcome, Good you guys made it. Yeah. How's that drive? Gnarly, gnarly fun. road. <laughs> it's super gnarly Not road. Not everybody makes it. Yeah, so. thanks for having us out, though. Yeah. <laughs> Not everyone makes it. Casually stuck down in there real big. <laughs> you passed the first test. Does that mean they turn around? What's the second one? Well, well you guys find out. Okay. Oh, oh, I don't like the sound of that. So, this town looks like the place that hills have eyes. Do you ever it get do, scared? It does. Yeah, it's you depressing. ever get scared here on your Sometimes. own? Sometimes. Sometimes. Yeah. Only at night. You know, one time we had a guy come up and I saw headlights at like 10 p.m. Oh. And the thing is, like, you don't stumble upon the town. If you're coming here, you're coming here for a reason. Yeah. 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 So why are you coming at 10 o'clock at night? Mm -hmm. so that's just what I don't like. And by the time I got outside, they were gone, and there's just like the dust left. What? Oh. So, so he, he came drove up, up maybe yeah, yeah, he did. You even left. And that's then, like, creepy. Super creepy. Over in Lester, if you had stopped, at least addressed me. I'm like, oh yeah, 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 I thought I got lost. No, it's like dust. Yeah. Wow. I didn't sleep much that night, but uh, got it. Oh, Any what? animal encounters up here? There's some animals up here. Yeah. We have some bobcats. Ooh, okay. We have foxes. Okay. Got goats, got domestic goats. goats. Okay. 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 Mm. Oh, no sheep. <laughs> Dude, my lips are jacked. <laughs> Matt's like, damn, goats. <laughs> so Foxy's up here? Oh, oh, Foxy. <laughs> That's going to go on for the whole video. <laughs> sheep. You said vodka? <laughs> I got you guys set up in the bunkhouse. Yes. Okay. Oh, yeah. so this building was built in 1900. Originally, it was for the miners that would come and go and stay here. There used yeah. to be a bunch of bunk beds in there. No bunk beds for you guys, unfortunately. Got it. Uh, so we good. share. You guys set up. Yeah. Okay. We're all probably just going to sleep in one room now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 exactly. exactly. You can drag mattresses around, you know? <laughs> awesome. That's what we did last time. Yeah. Yep. Really? We made like a taco of mattresses. <laughs> like they were literally like almost going up the wall. Because we didn't want, because you know. Go, yeah. yeah. Go. Go. There's spiders. Spiders. <laughs> 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 the majority of the town's right in front of you. Wow. Oh, pretty easy. Yep. Um, you guys are all going to be just fine. Except for the guy in the jeans, but uh... Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> I got a different description of what this would be today. <laughs> wow, that looks incredible. Whoa. Whenever you see stuff up here, like big, like that stove in the place, all that's brought up by mules. Wow. Yeah. Oh wow, you're right, yeah. That's the opening valley. Yeah. You ever fall asleep in the mine? I've been in the mines. I've slept in the mines. You slept in the you mines? In the mine, I got a mine just for you. You can sleep you got, in it tonight. It's gonna be mine? It can be. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> that's good. Oh, that's that an was amazing good. Valentine's Day card for you. Right. Will, Will you, you be, be mine? mine? Right. Oh, oh, yeah. oh my god, that's coming so up. Good. <laughs> it's only a few short it's weeks. Just away. you with a pickaxe, just right there over. Just, <laughs> <with you. laughs> wow. Hey man, you, you know, I like that. So the guy that really founded the town and brought to be what it is was this guy named Mortimer Belshaw. Big guy, shops, you know, the whole works. And he owned everything. He owned the general store. He owned, he had a toll on the road coming up. So he got you coming and going wow. in the store and he owned the mines as well. Wow. So he was like Jeff Bezos in the day, you know, he just owned everything. And yeah. uh, so that was his original house. And right across the street is the original general store here. Whoa. Thank you so much to Bang for sponsoring TFIL and continuing to fuel all of our adventures. Make sure to check out the Bang shots, fit right in your pocket. I got Frosé Rosé right here. And enjoy the rest of the video, guys. See ya. Right, turn around and say like your final cowboy words. It's so majestic. My final cowboy yeah. words? Yeah, like I love you, Heath, or something. <laughs> I love you, Heath? Yeah, yeah something that's from Brokeback Mountain. Yeah. I love you, Heath. I've See, never, say, I just I've never quit you. Turn Am around, I the only one here that I haven't seen Brokeback Mountain? You haven't seen Brokeback Mountain? What are you, what are you doing, doing up here? Say it. Say it. <laughs> <laughs> so turn around all dramatic. Look at the camera and say, I just can't quit you. I just can't quit you.
can't quit you. Get a tent! Someone get a tent! Yo, this is very different from when I came to San Francisco. Wait, 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 wait. I didn't hey. see this thing in the video. <laughs> I got weird. Yeah. Yeah, you made that you made it weird. Did you guys kiss? Top. I saw the angle. <laughs> what happened? Like Sarah, stays, like, <laughs> yeah, that that stays on you too. It's because it's haunted. The ghost got into me. Yeah. Right, well. The spooky Yuki's got into me. <laughs> <laughs> I have more. So I was saving them for the uh, mining. I thought it'd be colder. Mm. It's a little warmer in the mine. Is it really? Yeah. Oh. It's always a year round same temperature. It's a little more insulated from the earth. I like is, the merch. Is all this stuff original to the yeah, town? Yeah, so all this stuff we've found here. So you have everything like dynamite boxes, pickaxes, of course, miner's helmets. This is what they're after here. This is where the guys were digging oh. the live suit. This is Galena. So it's silver in there. Feel how this is. Give a little pick up. Give a little lick. Oh, wow. That's pretty good, huh? That's oh, intense. Wow. I mean, that's significantly more. <laughs> oh, oh. I thought you were pushing down on it. <laughs> oh my god, that's crazy. Pass it around, come on. Don't <laughs> on this. How much is that worth, you think? 30 to 1,000. It sounds right. <laughs> it's somewhere in between 30 and 1,000. Somewhere in there. Anywhere between 30 dollars and 1,000 dollars. No more, no less. Not wrong. I want to make sure you know, it's probably somewhere in that range. I won't be able to Google Corey <laughs> Shearer's really? net worth and it just says 30 to 1,000 dollars. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> Hell yeah! Woo! You guys are gonna actually love my costume. I feel like a miner. You can't be in this bar. You're a miner. <laughs> yeah, and all this stuff in here I pulled out of the mines over the last ten months. And so it's just wow. stuff like this. Jack is good. It's pristine. Yeah. Try it on. Look at that. Oh Try it on. It's, it's open size. Is there a Gordo yeah, one? Jack's is it size three and a half? This is cool, this kind of goes with your outfit. Uh, it's a revolver cylinder with bullets still in it. Oh wow. Ooh, geez. It's pretty sweet. Bullets are still in that. You yeah. found that in a mine? Yeah. Wow. They were, why were they, why did they have a gun in the mine? Who got shoot nuts out here? I mean, the police weren't coming up here, so they were to handle everything. How many people do you think were murdered? Uh, so. Between 30 and 1,000? Between 30 and 1,000. <laughs> That's actually probably a pretty good guess. <laughs> <laughs> Any question you have for the rest of the time here, the answer is 30 to 1,000. <laughs> How many mines do you think are here? 30 to 1,000. Between 30 and 1,000. It's pretty close. <laughs> well, the cop pulls me over. How fast do you think you're going? <laughs> All right, you ready, boys? All right, first one down to, uh, what is that down there? Lake something? Oh, yeah. lake. First one to Keeler. There you go. First. <laughs> 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 no, it's so fun! Dude, that might actually work though, honestly. Ooh, oh, ready, oh, yeah. Yeah. oh, keep going, keep going! <laughs> <laughs> he just keeps walking all the way down. <laughs> <laughs> We're going all the way to Keeler. Catch you guys later. Oh! Oh, oh, oh. oh my god! Oh, my gosh. <laughs> Yo, they're going! Jesus! <laughs> all the way down! Wow. <laughs> we got a setting too. everyone what Corey and I are now doing is we're doing a monthly contest right so every single month we're gonna be picking one winner and we'll be flying out to your hometown your area and bringing you to do like an overnight adventure or a yeah. daytime adventure whatever it is that you want to do we're picking one person every single month and we're gonna make that happen yeah. there are two ways to enter one is super simple on this video and every video in the month just leave a like and a comment and every video you do that on equals one entry the other way is to head over to sendersociety.com, which is the clothing company that we run. And for every dollar you spend equals one entry. And every month it restarts. So on the first, it's a brand new contest. And then again, so every month, brand new winner. And yes, yeah, so that means 12 people in the year. By the end of the year, yeah. yeah. We'll, be, <laughs> we'll be flying out and filming videos with you guys and all that fun stuff, so. And then we're starting our contest in 2022 for Camp Send It. <laughs> Like you, <laughs> you know I've done something similar. 
I brought 20 people to New Zealand. Well, let's bring 22 people to New Zealand. All right, you can plan it. Oh. <laughs> all right, guys, we're doing a contest this month. <laughs> yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, it's okay. It's all right. It's all right, dude. Well, enjoy the rest of the video, guys. <laughs> Going to the brothel. It was once called Lola's Palace of Pleasure. Lola. Lola Travis owned all the brothels here in town. Was she hot? She was a lady not to f with. Uh, oh, sorry. Uh, that seems a little <laughs> ironic, huh? Yeah, yeah. exactly. She's the only one? Well, you know, she was the one that if you were to argue with your bill, she would go and grab the gun and discuss your bill with you. Oh. Mm. Even a story of her shooting somebody dead in the street. What? And they didn't even try her. Jesus. So she had some heavy so she didn't mess around. And it used to be much bigger. There used to be three of these cribs. So each of these cribs would have a bathtub in it and a bed and were four the different ladies. I'm rebuilding it. That's what all this wood. Oh, so there's one lady per little per shack. Per little shack, yeah. Oh, wow. There's a door in between the shacks yeah. in case so the ladies the heard anything going on, like mm. safety reasons, yeah. they would walk in. Oh. How y'all please do oh. oh. We can do 10 apiece for two for 15. Oh. Oh. Y'all just, y'all, y'all just in town for the weekend. What's going on? I guess you got your little snowboards. Yeah. Ellen, two for 15. That's two amazing. For two for, yeah, you want to? That's, 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 that's what they do at Chili's. <laughs> <laughs> well, it is a little chilly. Yeah, oh, it is. <laughs> it's not that chilly, okay? <laughs> wait, why's your pants off? Yeah, wait, what's going on? I was getting this started for y'all. One of the things to be warm when you got in here. Who do you want, pick? What's that you want? Hmm. Seeing as though I can't grow a beard. <laughs> it's gotta be out in the corner. Oh. All I'm saying is I think my lover would not appreciate that. I don't know if you saw I had a man earlier. I don't know if you knew that. Well, it oh. just so happens this is a buy two, get one free situation. But there's, Seeing as though it is Martin Luther King weekend. Wait, so are you buying two? Because there's only one of you talking about two. You, you buy two with, with, somebody just come in here and get inside of me, please. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, yeah. Make sure to film this part. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah you really committed. All right. That was a good. That was a good one. Yeah. That was more than I had hoped for. <laughs> Assays where they tested the quality of minerals, so like how high percentage of silver it was. Ooh. So all that got tested. Great. I love how. What I like is this: is that like you would come here to see how rich you were, uh -huh. right? And then the brothel was right next to it. Hilarious. Wow. I got some money to blow. Wow. <laughs> come on in. These are core samples, so like they're sampling if there's a. Mineral in the mountain, so they're drilling. Take those. <laughs> the real cool thing in here is these. <laughs> these are the original Cerro Gordo silver and lead bars. Oh, and they're wow. stamped Cerro Gordo. Oh, wow. And I'm really strong. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jessica. <laughs> get a little pump before I get a little pump. <laughs> oh, focus. Oh, focus. Yes, Machine gun? Gonna have to come over. They call that, that was how they drilled into the mountain to pack the dynamite. And so, like, this would be steam powered. They would drill in, pack the dynamite, put the dynamite in, pack it out, blow it up, and then getting the rock out was called mucking. So the muckers would have to go and pick out all the rock. How, how often were there, like, dynamite related accidents? Every day. Every day? Yeah. So there used to be a cable that would start there, and the ore would get loaded into buckets and then sent all the way down to Keeler up and over all the ridges and everything. Yeah. Wow. Is part of that still up down there? Yeah, so you can I see, saw it on the way. Yeah, yeah, a couple still of them. hanging. And the crazy thing to me is that, like, so down they would take ore, but the miners, if they were lazy, they would get in the buckets and ride it back up. What? <laughs> and which is crazy because you have to think, one, it was before commercial airplanes, so that's the first time that anybody was like flying in the air, you know? Wow. You're sitting in this bucket, swaying. And there were also a bunch of stories about the miners would go to Kilo to get drunk at the bar. And then a couple of them came back up and stood up too close to an intersection and just... What? Wait, how fast would the thing go? Like... It's moving pretty quick because it has really heavy ore buckets <laughs> going Whoa. all the way down. So people have been <laughs> decapitated on the way up here, basically. Correct, yeah. So there was Uber Bucket at one point. Uber Bucket, yeah. Uber Bucket. The owner's Uber wife, bucket. when she didn't want to go downtown, she would send like her groceries list in the bucket and just go down. So we would take it, get her groceries, put them back up. Oh, wow. I, cool. I, I was going to say, you should rebuild that. You need that. Saying. Yeah, it looks like you're doing an amusement park or something. Yeah, a little roller coaster. <laughs> Did you ever sit on top of that? I have. It's pretty good. <laughs> <laughs> I was practicing rappelling. Wow. Oh, really? Yeah, I wanted to practice somewhere outside of a mine, so just go up and down that a lot. That's wow. sturdy enough? Sturdy? Yeah. Uh, yeah, enough. Enough. <laughs> <laughs> hmm. 
There you go. He and I have the same level of like yes. safety. Yeah. Enough. Enough. Have you accidentally destroyed anything here? You're like, I should have pulled on that. Not yet. Okay. <laughs> That's impressive. Like you say, can't yeah. say no definitively. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I thought you were actually hurt. <laughs> What were you saying? All right, so down, down, I think down now to the we'll go to the church. Okay. Oh! Oh my god! Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> that was so fast! Oh my god. I was god. just about to say, where's Elton? Oh. Bro. Dude, who is that minor over there? Done. Oh my god! Dude, you look like you're Look at his face! Can we get a close up on Elton? That was so close! Dude, you look like a ghost! <laughs> Bitch, I'm gonna go. Dude, your eyelashes are frozen. <laughs> oh my god, that was so close, dude. Ooh, look in the camera. Yeah. <laughs> you don't. You look like one of the miners if they were preserved in ice, like back in the 1800s. Wait, I'm like, can we do that again? Someone wanna try and jump over me? Yes. <laughs> okay. What are you doing with your feet? Oh. <laughs> yes, <sir. laughs> You really look like we just dug you out of like an ice chamber. Oh my chamber. god, look at his face! <laughs> Dude! You got snow on your eyelashes. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, also, uh, what? Storage. One of our favorite things we like to do here is uh, somebody goes up and you want to help them please take the plate, take the altar. Oh, and, actually, uh, okay. Somebody throws a topic at them and they have to give a speech on the topic. Oh, that's we do that most nights. Thank you. <laughs> nope. That was so clean. Now you got to spin. That's not that way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like it's go. back and forth. Like, go quick, like, quick, like quick, it's quick, pricey. Go! Can you talk to someone to give them a topic? Or a taco. Sarah. Sarah. Sarah Gordo. Sarah Gordo. Oh. oh. The gold mine Frodo. Mm. Seeking out the precious. Wondering where depression oh. laid in the mines with all the miners in which they have died. Mm -hmm. And tonight they cry. Mm -hmm. Why? Because one of their own has been unfrozen, brought to life with toes above them. Yes, that's how they were found. Twinkle toes in the night sky. Bright light. You wonder why? Why are we here? Why? What brought us today? Did you come? to go to the snow and play? Or did you come to search for gold, silver, ores, and all that we owe to the world to make the precious metals? To which I say, I give my medal. Sarah Gordo, you are my gleaming star in the open meadow. Whoa! I'm buying this guy a brothel. I can't snap. How the f I just do that? That was <laughs> Yeah, that's the spirit of the mountain. That's the Hall of Fame speeches here in the that's church. That's good. Yeah. Spirit of disco yeah, Jesus. I got goosebumps. That's a very good one. Matt Reif, uh, your three minutes are up at the open mic. Ooh. On the mountain? Yeah, on the open mic. <sighs> is this a Stand up. No, this is stand up. We're doing stand up now. Oh. Yeah. This is stand up? Is the open mic at Sarah Gordo. What, uh, what's, what's the topic? Talk about the Allstate guy! <laughs> <laughs> Talk about guy code when it comes to Geico. Yeah. Guy code yes. when it comes to Geico. Yeah, it's wow. Geico. Oh, um. <laughs> insurance. Am I right? Yeah. yeah it's, it's crazy. Uh, um, uh, are there any couples in here tonight? Are there any couples? Back here. How, how, how long have you guys been dating? Three years. Three years. Wow. Did, did you guys drive here? Yeah. Cool. Who, who drove? She did? Yeah. Nice. What kind of car is it? Why are you surprised that I drove? Uh, it's, it's, a, it's a steep driveway. Why are you surprised that she drove? Um, because... Why are you assuming it's a steep driveway? Uh, <clears throat> the, uh... Whew! <laughs> it's hot. It's hot in here. Um, do you guys have insurance? <laughs> Geico! Do you guys have Geico? How long have you guys been doing that? 15 minutes. 15? Uh, 15 minutes? How much yeah. could they well, do you have any idea how much you guys could have saved if you would have waited like 16 minutes? <laughs> <laughs> you could have gone to my pal, the general, and he, uh. He could have saved you a little bit more. Lola? Um. <laughs> We've got a 
deal going on right now. <laughs> Two for twenty. <laughs> Stripping the strips, he got what he wanted. <laughs> 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 oh, oh, man. Am I, the first, am I the first person to strip in this church, you think? <sighs> oh, I just forgot. I forgot we were in a church. church. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yes. I think that is. I think that's a cerebral first right there. <laughs> what, do you think, what do you think is going through that guy's mind right now? <laughs> Dude, he works there's, at a ghost town. There's six grown men watching a guy strip <laughs> in a church with a, church with with a huge camera. <laughs> well, one of them is with laughing the disco maniacally. With the disco ball. Oh, Corey, you're taking his shirt off and Corey's just dying of laughing. He's probably calling the police. Oh, we're man. talking about guys. They're not oh. coming up, man. Please no, don't, please don't come up here. Oh, my. Yeah. Oh. Corey Tatum, everybody! You're running for mayor of uh, of, of Cerro Gordo. Yes, um, yes, that's true. How do you how do you plan to make the town better? Um, what's your what's your plan? I wouldn't say that I would make the town better, but I would knit the town a sweater. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> what the f does that mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, yeah. So Cerro Gordo was established in 1865 by a guy named Pablo Flores. He found this town with two of his friends. And then around 1868, Mortimer Belshaw came to town. Mortimer Belshaw was a rich guy from San Francisco. He injected a bunch of money in the town. And within two years, it became the most prosperous silver mine in California's history. They pulled something like $500 million worth of that minerals out of the mountain. And then, after about 10 years, the town ran dry. Silver ran out. So a lot of everybody kind of packed up and left. And so about for 10 years, the town sat vacant. And then around 1910, guy named L.D. Gordon found zinc here. And so they brought back another boom to the town. And so for about 1910 to about 1935, the town boomed to about 4,000 people again. There's a couple hundred buildings around. And it was the Wild West, you know. Cerro Gordo was a place that cops didn't come. I mean, you guys took the road up. It's not like police are gonna make their way up here. And so in its heyday, there's something like a murder a week, which I think about quite a bit. Yeah. And there's even stories of, you know, below us, there's 30 miles of mines here. And in some parts of those mines, there's famous incidents called the China Stope Incident, where 30 miners were mining a part of the ore. It collapsed on them, and they never got them out. So they're still down there. Oh, so damn. it's pretty tough to, like, escape death everywhere at Cerro Gordo. You know, you were dying above ground, below ground. There's a doctor that they got to come up here for a little bit, and he left after a day because he had to go see a patient and this patient had lined his bed with sandbags, six feet tall, to stop all the stray bolts that went through the town in the middle of the night so he didn't get shot in the sleep. So, Jesus. 1904. <laughs> <laughs> From 1904. It's like an animatronic. He just starts to have. I ran out of juice. That's great. Then from like 1935 till pretty much present day, the town was sat abandoned just because the biggest kind of blow to Cerro Gordo wasn't just losing the silver, but there's no running water up here because it used to be fed by Owens Lake below us and Owens Lake was drained as part of the LA Aqueduct program where they redirected all the water into LA. So LA stole our water. Uh, and so no water, no minerals, nobody really wanted to live up here. So it sat abandoned for about a hundred years. And I bought it about two and a half years ago. And my hope, my dream, is kind of bring life back to it, you know? Get it to a place where people can come up, spend the night, have a beer in our saloon, and uh, learn about the history and experience all the natural beauty here. Bring back the brothel. Yeah. It's a casino, maybe. Yeah. Now we're talking. So we're definitely yeah. coming back to Sir Gordon. Yeah. 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 Oh, he's a mine. Oh, a mine. 
A mine mine. A mine a mine a mine. A mining mine. Mine mine a mine mine. Wow. We should have done charades in there. We should. That would be great. Come back in. Come back. We're doing charades, everybody. Are we? Yeah. Yeah. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. Wait a minute. Is he a bro? Wait a minute. Brand is it branding a steer? Wait a minute! Right. A, a, a mule. Is it a mule? Like it's a mule. It's a jackass. It's a... Jackass. It's, a it's a big wait jackass. A spanking wait, Corbin with a piece a of wood on his Jack? back. No, wait, 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 wait. Wait, it's my father. A, a, it's a, a big old a jackass. jackass. It's a uh, jack in the box. It's a, <laughs> wait, wait. Uh, uh, making uh, a mule go up the hill. What's last? A uh, mule up the mountain. Mule. A uh, Moscow mule. Uh, Mule or no mule? A lazy mule. A la, uh, You're spanking. That's supposed to hurt. Spank. The, the, uh, 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 donkey. The, donkey Kong. The Sean that broke the camel's uh, back. Someone get it, please. I don't want wood. to be <laughs> wood. Okay, okay. Someone get it. Someone get it, please. Uh, wood smack. <laughs> spanking an athlete. Yeah, yeah. Pretty close. Yeah, okay. Who was it? A mule that wouldn't go up the mountain. Oh, oh I'm just we said that. That's so that. average. Did you say that? that? No. <laughs> Going into a mine. He's, he's a miner. Miner. He's mining at a mine. He's pickaxe. He's mining for silver. He found silver. Finding something. He found he an ore. Found a baby. He found an ore. He buried. Laying dynamite. Laying dynamite. Yeah. yeah. And he yeah. got yeah. it. Yeah. 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 So bad. Oh. Oh. Propping up a... Laying dynamite, laying dynamite. Laying dynamite. TNT! Oh, you got hit by dynamite. Yeah. The dynamite blew oh, his leg off. You, you got yeah. injured by dynamite. <laughs> <laughs> a prostitute. A first time brothel, Lily. Layla. Oh, a, 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 shy, a shy whore. Yeah. A, a first time brothel worker. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't, right to, I didn't even have to take my pants off. Wow. And I can, we, can we pretend I didn't guess it so you have to take his clothes off? No, with the uh, <laughs> guy, 100%. First day at the brothel, cranes are sizing. First brothel, customer are leaving. Oh, you're driving? You're doing the wow. Sheriff, um, you can't drive. You, no, can't, you can't drive. You can't drive, you can't drive at night. You're you're can't drive, uh, you can't drive. You can't drive. You're you a little kid. The little, uh, you're a little kid. You're a kid in the daycare at Sarah Gordo. You're a little kid Bing. that's a minor. You're, you're a, a minor. minor, minor. <laughs> you're a minor. Uh, wow. It's a minor. Wow. Yeah. yeah. The chef. Oh, you're stirring. a chef. Stirring. You're stirring. Dumping oh, it out. You're putting in some salt. He's delivering soup. Oh, you're driving. You're Uber. You're an Uber driver. Uber eats. <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> There's my bad girl. <laughs> yeah. It's tofu. Oh, tofu. What are, what are the names of your goats, by the way? This is Tofu. Uh -huh. She's the celebrity of the group. That's so, like, she has a very popular thing. Instagram, Tofu the Goat. Oh, there's this one. Oh, oh there's two. Two oh. more, hello. That's Elon. That's Elon. Musk? Is it kidding? Yeah, Elon Musk. Elon, Elon Tusk. Elon oh, Tusk. Oh, my God. Hello. You know what? His name is other goat, right? Yes, yes I told you guys. <laughs> it is just kind of. Oh, he looks goat. like another goat. Poor <laughs> little other goat. Hello. Oh, dude, he's he got. He's gonna die. Oh, 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 oh shit, are you okay? <laughs> are you okay? Are you okay? Are you okay? You champion. Oh. Elon. He's a star. Of the sky. Elon. 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 What? Huh. You ever seen the Grinch? What? What? Yep. Especially you ever seen the Grinch? <laughs> this is the Grinch Ooh. cave. He's put up with our bullshit all day, and this is the end of us. Dude. <laughs> oh. Wow, now that's a hole. That's oh, awesome. Well, Should we go in? Go ahead. Holes. Yeah. <laughs> really? 100 yards back at most. Yeah, there we go. What did you say, 100 feet back at most? No, no, 100 yards. Oh, it's oh, a bat. Sh oh, Oh, sh <laughs> That's a little vampire bat. Is that guy alive? Yeah. Yep. Oh, grab him, dude. No. no. <laughs> you get coronavirus, dude. We learned in 2020. Oh, so right. This is your fault. Hey, don't yell at little honey. Dude, he did this. We're, so we just keep, keep going? going? Keep going. Keep going. Like what we know when we have reached. We don't know where you'll reach where we are headed. This is literally a man cave, isn't it? I like how you decorated it. Yeah. Like he brought all this in wow. here. That's so funny. <laughs> this is hey, sick. When you live in a ghost town, you got a lot of time on your hands. Is this dude, where this you unwrapped sick. your presents? This is where I had Christmas? 
It's not that hard, you guys. This where you put like the same clothes. telephone in as above, so below. And then the cat, oh, and then the catacombs, and the phone rings. Oh, the, yeah. the exact same one, yeah. This is That's how he uploads this his TikToks. Print. There's a little uh, cooler next to you. Oh shit! Same, same temperature year round. Wait, so this goes three different ways? That Correct. is yep. awesome. You're like putting yourself out. Look at that. Look behind the couch. Yeah, look at that drop. Right here. <laughs> Wait, oh, we really? did a drop right here. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, what? Oh. Sh Have you ever been down there? Hey, there's a ladder to oh, it. Like no that. way. Hey, where'd he go? Where's he behind us? Behind. Oh, they think the mini. Oh, god, we're standing on it. Okay, I understand. Holy sh look at all this. Uh, he's not behind us. Oh, I went down there. Oh, he's not putting, great. He's not great. Us? No, cool. he's putting wood. I have an excellent sense of direction. We came from this way. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my oh, god. my god. <laughs> What's the furthest depth in you can go, like linear distance in? Of this one? Or just or in general? general? Uh, like miles. Miles in? Yeah. Wow. wow. That's crazy to think about. So that's like, what, an hour or something to get to the back of the, the end point? But a little bit less, but yeah. And then then I think is when you realize I'm very far underneath the mountain, you know? Yeah. It kind of trips you out a little bit. Mm -hmm. yeah. A little claustrophobia. A little bit, yeah. Any points of you been like, I might not remember how to get out? Or no? Only one time because I was like, I was rappelling that day, so I rappelled down, then I took a left, and then I got really excited because I found something. And then I got a little turned around, and my, one of my flashlights gave out. And so that's why I started carrying these, like, glow sticks everywhere. Because, like, batteries can always die, even if they're brand new, because they, they get cold if something happens. Mm. But a glow stick, at least you can, like, think your way out. Because I think the most terrifying Sorry. thing in the world, imagine being back in the cave, like, if you turn on the light right now, you're going to see nothing, you know? It's going to yeah. be pitch dark. I'm going to try it real quick. Wow. Jesus. So it's like, imagine being, like, hundreds of feet away from the entrance or thousands that are um, two miles away and then having to navigate your way back out in Jesus the dark. Yeah. That sounds like an absolute nightmare to me. I can't even yeah. see you right now. Yeah, can't can't see you. Jesus. <laughs> there's, there's holes everywhere. No exactly. Way, yeah. there's, there's, oh, I really don't think you'd make it. There's there's like vertical drops and everything. And so like, even if you felt your way along the way, I don't think you would make it. You know, so many twists and turns. It'd pretty good if you were down. Mm. You, and it, It'd be the worst death ever. You know, you just slowly be there. Yeah, yeah. And try Wait, to stumble away your way around. I feel like you eventually, like, you'd, you'd get to the point where you were like, I need to get out or I'm gonna die from, like, starvation. Right. And then you'd make dumb decisions and fall. Right. And then you'd die that way. Yeah, you would try to expedite. But also, you yeah. can't even wait for sunlight because it's not gonna happen. Yeah, sunlight's not, not gonna, gonna happen. Yeah. You just gotta keep pushing. Yeah, and yeah. wait for your homies to show, show up that probably won't show up. You have your night vision camera, yeah? No. Oh. Yep, I do. I have two of them actually now. That's fun. That's if you fun. think we're doing hide and clap in here, you're excited. No, not hide and clap. Just see if you can get back in the pitch black. I can. Okay. Oh. Wow. That was okay. There you go. Well, thank you guys for watching the video, Brent. Thank you, man, for having us out. Seriously, a lot yeah. of fun. This is this I has been awesome. Been laughing a while. So. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a wild one. This, this is this a wild one. This the weirdest. <laughs> this might be the weirdest video we've ever done. The Alcatraz one was weird. Yeah. yeah. This had way more skin showing. Yep. And uh, slam poetry. It was all over the map. Prostitution and snow and goats and, was, and sledding. Was yeah. This sledding. was a really fun one. Uh, <laughs> the next video will be more serious because whether we acknowledge it or not, this right, ghost adventure is just basically ranked this as the most haunted place in America? That they've investigated. That yeah. they've investigated. Wow. And they That's are great. the yes. oh, elite geez. leading team of investigations. So this place in particular has a, has a haunted history. As That's well where we're as, staying. And then you said there's a cemetery here. There's a cemetery that has something over like two or three hundred miners in it. And no one's oh. investigated there before. No one's really. No one's been up there, no. Jeez. So we'll be the first. That's like the Conjuring house. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, this is just like that. Yeah. yeah. Oh so my god. That will be our next video because it's only what time is it? Nine. Like nine. Yeah. yeah so <laughs> so the next video is gonna be uh, just seeing all these new places, being a little bit more serious, and the investigation. Ooh. And then tomorrow we're here to go in the mines. Oh, all man. day, maybe rip the razor around. So, oh, that's all. <laughs> this place is a is wild awesome. trip. <laughs> uh, but of course, Brent has his own YouTube channel for Sierra Gordo and TikTok and everything like that. So, if you want to learn more about it in a serious manner, um, link in the description. <laughs> He's just a little bit <laughs> more serious cool. than this video. Yeah, just a little bit. He, <laughs> no, best of the day. The different, his channel, he sits at the top of a mountain and enjoys the sunset. Yeah. Yes. Our channel? We do that. Yeah, no. <laughs>
<laughs> no. You guys really? didn't enjoy the view? <laughs> yeah. well, to be honest, wow. we, we enjoyed the sunset until we recreated Brokeback Mountain. <laughs> Great film. I will do the sequel yes. before I was watching this. <laughs> you said you're sometimes still in your videos, but have you ever done like slam poetry in your church? This is the first. There's a lot of firsts today, you know? Okay. There's yeah. a lot of firsts. Uh, okay. First time the brothel was brought back to life a little bit. Yeah. Um, yeah. Slam poetry cash. is new. Mm -hmm. All sorts of good things. Good. I really had a good, good time. Good. I'm okay. excited. Cool. You know? Let's go. Let's do it. Let's go adventure. See you guys in the next video. Yeah. Off to the cemetery. My daddy Kwani. My daddy Kwani. My daddy Kwani.